Just walk. Don't step on the ladder. Just walk. Okay, this time a little bit faster. This time as fast as you can. Oh, Spencer improved. Okay, this time both feet in and then next one. Light, stay light. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Stay light. Okay, this time fast. As fast as you can. Faster, 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 faster. Yeah. Faster, 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 faster. Okay, from the side. One, two, three, four. Right foot first. Nice. Right foot, right foot. Nice. Right foot in, left foot in. Right foot out, left foot out. This time is as fast as you can. Faster, 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 faster. The other side. Oh, after you, after you. Rifle first. Yep. Keep your arms up. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Make sure it's low impact, low impact. Don't stomp on it, yeah. Stay light. Should be in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So no side step, no side step. Yeah, right, yeah, right away. Yeah, yeah, like that. Feel the rhythm, a little bit speed up, evenly space out each step. One step shouldn't be more than the other. Try to make it evenly spaced out. Okay, as fast as you can. Faster, faster, faster. Swing your arms, swing your arms a little bit. Sideways. Hopping on left leg only. Oh. 
first time, just slow down, feel the rhythm. Yeah, don't need to do it too fast. After you get used to it, you can a little bit speed up. And it's easier to do if you swing your arms a little bit to keep the balance. The second time. Stay on the toes. Faster, 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 faster. Oh, right foot. Don't step on the letter. <laughs> oh, nice. Medium pace. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, yep. Was that second time? Oh. This is third time? Yeah, different rhythm, right? One, two, one, two, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, I want the pause in the middle. Pause and then go. Yeah, like that. No, pause inside. Pause inside. Yeah. Yeah.
Last one is the other way. Pause outside, in and out. So what, what we've been building up to this point, of, uh, of course uh, Sanjay and Sunny is new today, is we talked about how to get the return um, come outside of the table so we can loop first. And the way to do that is to mix a lot of side spin on the serve. And when they come and push, because it's not heavy on the spin, the ball will come out. And it really depends on who you're facing if they have good control, they may be able to put it short. But in general, we are expecting the ball to come out. Now, when the ball comes out, we are gonna wait. Doesn't matter here or here. Gonna wait for the ball to come out and then give a spinny loop uh, to their backhand side. And then we also learn how to loop from here and then do the crossover footwork to catch up. If they put it, return the ball uh, back to the forehand wide. Today we're gonna do that, but there's a, there are two sequences. Let's say you turn, it doesn't matter if you're doing the backhand loop or forehand loop. We, I want you guys to, um, to pivot after the first shot. Okay, so what happens in most cases is people do one loop and then they watch. So this position just disconnects the move to the next. So what happens is, one loop and here if the ball comes here play down the line to kill if the ball puts over there cross over footwork so we've done this part so we're gonna do down the line today so one push loop there and down the line okay and you can do backhand loop too if you want to do the first shot i like to do the backhand loop then one, two, try to go backward so you have ample space to go in, go in, okay? This shot is not supposed to stay and expect the ball to come exactly to you. It's more like leave it space, oh, but I'm already in this position. I can still catch that ball, but one, two, kill, or one, same, and then Two. Oh. If you can get into this position after the first loop, you can basically cover all the balls. But if you loop and do this, you cannot catch any ball but to just play like block. Okay, so today is loop here and down the line and of course the other person can block. Then it will be forehand to forehand if you, it can be continued. But I want you guys to be able to make the down the line shot. Okay, so we'll warm up a little bit and whenever you get ready, you can start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, warm up a little bit.
Okay, this side can loop. This side can loop. Spencer, start to loop. Try to get 20 loop. 20 loop in a row. No, no, no. Just loop. Just, just forehand loop. <laughs> the toss was good. Toss was perfect. Okay, switch. This side loop. Oh, these balls are actually training balls. You can you can use if you want. No, no, block with the forehand, block with the forehand. If you if you feel you're warmed up, you we can start. So the uh, serve push. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one person starts. Yeah. He so just one side. Serve. So let's so say. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Forehand loop. Yeah. You block it back to his backhand. Okay, he plays down the line. You try to block it back here with the forehand. Right. Then he's gonna 
continue to loop and you can start to just block with the forehand or you can counter too. Uh -huh. But after the last, the last stage is forehand to forehand only. Uh -huh. We can do backhand to backhand. Backhand to backhand. You can push the table a little bit this way if you don't have space to turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that better. Okay, let's start the drill. So one side serve, the other side push, the other side loop, block, loop down the line, forehand block, continue to forehand loop, continue to block. Yeah, so you serve to his backhand. Yeah, he's pushing back to your backhand. You can do either backhand loop or forehand loop, but after the first loop, you need to pivot and then play down the line and then you will block it back to his, not too far, but medium and forehand, so he can continue to forehand. Okay. Uh -huh. And then after that... It it's a forehand to forehand. forehand. Loop. Oh, don't come in. Stay and then finish here. Yeah, like that. Oh. So don't come in too much. No, yeah, you, yeah, you're right. You're putting it back to him, but uh, not too deep here, but more like uh, here. Uh -huh. it, it, it's okay up to here, but not this way. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you can still. So what what you do is actually so you. Here and you did this, right? Yeah. Yeah, just one step and then you can loop again. Uh, just a little bit hard. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is uh, if you put him back to him, like if you back him, if because the first loop is good and they block it back to there, it's done. You play down the line, almost impossible to block this shot. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Right. 
So this, the step that you take after the first loop is really important. It's uh, kind of automatic. So there shouldn't be a time where you loop and then go slow or walk out. It's really, yeah, it's, it's a one, two, and then you can find, yeah. Uh, and when you step back, make sure that you're not just doing this much, right? Because this side is I cannot find, right? So you always think about like, it's coming back to the corner-ish. Yeah. Then this rest of the place you can make up. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good place. Okay, yeah. Down the line, down the line. No, 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 not the first shot. Second shot, second loop. The fifth shot. Forehand loop, forehand loop. Pivot. You, you need to a little bit wait, so after here, uh, just give me one block. Sure. You, you do one backhand loop, right? Yeah. Then after this shot, you need to have this much space. And shouldn't play the shot here. That's rushing. You have to uh, little bit pause, calculate the timing, and go in to get the power. Uh, it's not a rush shot. You have to, that's why we are creating space. Because your first shot is a spinny ball, when they block, it's always coming out. Right? So we are taking advantage of this first loop and then catching this one. Boom. Mm. Oh, that's very good spinny loop. Good serve. Good serve. Keep it low. Try to. Do the same serve, but lower. Better. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're looking for. That ball that's like barely coming out is what we're looking for. Step back, create space. Yeah, very good. Must have this routine. Must have this routine. After you look to their backhand, 90% they block it back to your backhand. Oh. Maybe more spin. Let's switch. Oh. Have you been switching? Yeah. Okay, okay. Continue a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, oh. <laughs> Instinct. Instinct. <laughs> More to his corner, not, not middle, more to his backhand corner. Because if you put it middle, they can block anywhere. But if, when you force the ball to deep 
backhand side, more likely it's coming back to you. Step back, automatic, step back. Loop, loop, loop. No. Oh. This one, the movement was good, but you didn't go back. So you just step to the side, so it's gonna, you're gonna feel like jam. You're, you're support, this much. Yeah, first loop is here. After that, one, two. But the step back itself and uh, preparation is at the same time. So you can adjust, make up. Baby, have some time. Before you forehand look, have some time. Oh. Don't rush, don't rush. This one is soft and power. There should be a control of the power. So first shot is a spinny but slow. I mean, it, it, it can be fast. Uh, if it's fast, it's good. But it's different. The second shot has to be boom. Uh, Need to add more body, finish the shot. Uh, little bit more space. Need to step back more. Better? Yeah, better. That space is right. Uh -huh. But I want more power on the fifth shot. Yeah. Oh, better. Yeah. It's, it's not actually better to play the kill shot early. It's not that better. Here, I do... Uh, just give me one backhand block. Here, here, don't need to like rush in. You actually need to wait, then go in. Right? That waiting actually can give you also corpse. This gives you option, not, if you go early, you can only hit there. So it's, once you're ready, you also need to kind of see, oh, he's coming to block there, then you can go there. Oh, he's coming, he's staying there. Go down the line. So you're, you need to spot and give a pause, and all at once, boom. Yeah, better. So there's a power difference. Power difference on the fifth shot. You need to do this after the first loop. Uh, you're looking for a chance to do that shot during the game. Yeah. You can block the forehand. Uh -huh. Need to pivot more. Don't 
Don't come in too much. After serve, if you come in this way, it's really hard to pivot. After serve, it's actually this. Then it's easy to pivot. Huh. Don't, don't be here. Don't end up here. If you plan to do forehand loop. Yeah, yeah. Already ready. Didn't even need to move. Yeah, better, better. More, more power. Your, your swing is faster than that. Need to commit to that shot. Step back, step back, come in. Don't stay, stay. Better, no, right, but you just step this way, it's actually that way. Yeah, backwards. More spin. First shot, more spin. I mean, the, the, the first loop, more spin. A lot of spin. Yeah. Very good, yeah, again. No, 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 no. One backhand, one forehand. <laughs> this student. <laughs> connection, connection. Backhand, I mean forehand. Move, 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 right away. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, let's pick up some balls and then next session is practice what you want to practice. So I'll come to the table and then see if you need help. So like if you want to practice backhand loop for underspin, then you can serve, they push it back, you practice backhand loop. And then we'll take turns. Okay, let's start with Yuki. What do you want to practice? Anything. For on this beam? Okay. Back and loop? Okay.
So let's try to think about how to add a little bit more spin and a little bit more speed on the backhand loop, right? Okay. So first thing is if it's a uh, backhand loop for top spin, it's okay to stay up. Because anyway, we need to use a little bit close angle to loop, right? So, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. So just give me a block. I'm going to do backhand loop. So even if I stand really high, no problem to loop on the backhand. Here. Oh, no problem. But when it's under spin, it's because naturally the pedal will a little bit close when I stay up. It's very hard to actually open and catch the ball. So when the ball is Coming to you with the underspin, if you stay up, it's actually harder to loop because the angle naturally close because you're above the pedal. So here, if I go like this, it, now it's hard. So here you want to get just a little bit like that. First thing is try to look at the ball like that. The second thing is try to um, have your pedal in your sight. So don't disappear the pedal because then you don't know where it is. Uh, so first thing is, I would kind of um, try to find the ball and my pedal like in this position first. Yeah, not, not even here. Don't, yeah, don't make it disappear for now. Yeah, exactly. So when you go down, instead of dropping, you can actually see both. Yeah, then your for one thing, what's going to happen is the consistency, right? Here, the ball comes here right just finding the con consistency here uh -huh. uh. yeah and then from here depends on the ball you can start to add body just just very small but here uh. so this kind of makes the opponent to do this if I were to do like a little bit slow right if you're not like kind of uh, taking advantage of your swing speed like your forehand loop has good spin but I don't think I'm seeing that on the backhand loop so try to really get it down boom use the body and then threaten them with the backhand loop yeah body down Swing faster, quick. Boom. Yeah, good. No, try, try. Who's practicing what? Service return. Service return. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. So any serve? Yeah. Because <laughs> I that's I can't read. No, 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 no. Uh. If you do all random serve, yeah. it doesn't actually help you to read the serve. So actually, what you need to do is um, have her serve. Um, if you want it to be random, tell her that only short. And then try to control any serve that is short. Yeah. And then secondly, only long yeah. but anywhere. Yeah. And try to attack uh -huh. or control. Uh -huh. Then mix up the whole table. Right. Let's do long. Uh -huh. She's good at long serves. So uh, one less thing to worry about, right? Who, who, who's, who, who's doing what? Oh, you're doing the forehand backhand transition? Okay. And what do you want to work on? Backhand? Okay, 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 okay. Okay? Okay. When you're coaching and you're saying, okay, I'm going to get two balls here, two balls here, I know it's going to be here and then I move. In the game, I serve and then I'm just standing here and trying to do this. I see. And I'm not moving. Oh, game and training is very different. Yeah. Okay. So one, you told me that uh, training, we know where the ball is coming. And in the game, we don't know where the ball is coming. And the point is, if you don't know, if you don't have any clue about what's the next ball, you cannot actually play. Right. 
right? So game is actually a mix up of set up. You set up the ball that you want to play in the previous shot, right? right? If I give topspin and he's not a chopper, the ball that's coming back to you is topspin. Yeah. If you play short, highly, most likely they're going to try to keep it short. So you, have, you cannot be randomized with the returns. You have to purposefully, when they push deep to their backhand, oh, they don't have loop, then they're gonna push it back to you long. And now there's here or there or in between. So you have to actually have to hit the setup. And if you loop, they're gonna block. So that's how the system works. Yeah, so. But let's mm -hmm. say that, you know, so you serve and then what? You, is that, is that where you want Depends on the serve. On yeah, what did you serve and why did you serve that, right? Right. And then, oh, so like, let me show you. So let's say that I'm going short here, so when it comes, I want to... No, if you put in short ball to their forehand side, the next ball is going to be short. Okay. Nobody puts it long. Yeah, so if you want to loop, uh -huh. then you have to design a serve that's going to come out long. Okay. And that's long serve. That's a long serve, right? Yeah. If it's long serve, it doesn't come back short. Yeah. Right? right? Now, when you're doing the long serve, the, uh, the other side is they can start to loop too, right? So you have to find their weak spot or uh, in, uh, before the last week, what we've talked about to how to get the first uh, loop right. is actually half side, half under or more side spin depending on how they are returning the ball or no spin serve yeah these two serves are great for the ball to come just out it's not going to come out like long nobody is going to do that everyone is going to try to keep it short but so Spence try to return uh. so here if I do see it's coming out uh. coming out so you're looking for this kind of serve. If you serve this, yeah, yeah sure, you cannot loop first. So you have to set it up from the service. Yeah, and if you want to loop here, give maybe no spin. Yeah, mm, that's good. So he's, he's getting my um, no spin serve short. So then I need to add some uh, side. So it comes out long. This is first step to loop. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So you have to really set it up. It's, right. a, it's really like chess. Yeah. You move the piece, and before you move the piece, you're thinking in advance, if, right. if I do this, they're going to do that. Right. Then I'm going to do this, right? right? right. Uh-huh, so thinking a few steps ahead. When you're returning the serve, long serve, don't make your swing big. Keep it small but quick. Let's switch. Switch. So how are you gonna work on? Okay, back and loop. Did you mean to loop down the line? <laughs> okay. No, you, you, you should, I mean, it's not must, but you ha it, intentionally, if you're going there, intentionally you have to put it there. If it's going there, intentionally put it there. What are you working on? I don't know. Something to like focus on control. Yeah. 
Control. Mm. Try, try keeping it very short. You serve first, and then do a short serve. He tries to uh, put it back short. You try to put it back short. And in the middle of the rally, if you see, oh, this ball I can actually attack, then attack. Yeah, but with the spin. Like, it doesn't have to be looped, like, so let's say, so we're trying to just push short. Okay. Push, yeah, push short. So we are pushing it short. So this requires some control, right? Then if it's out, then you can go. But really try to control the short tables. Because you actually have some sense on the long balls, but not for the short balls. So try that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it's too high, punish. It's right away, punish. Yeah. If it's high. This serve is good. This serve is good. Side spin, backhand side spin, service good. Yeah. But when you do forehand loop, uh, your whole arm needs to move in one plane. So what that means is right now you actually your movement on the forehand is actually under your elbow. So your elbow is actually not moving, but your forearm is moving to loop. And this way is um, not good because it's only played by forearm and it's hard to execute more power yeah. to generate more power you may get like a, some quick 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 shot but it's, it, there's no potential yeah. for it to be yeah. uh, effective so what you really want to do is pivoting on your shoulder and let it move like this if it's loo, it moves like that underspin loo moves like this your elbow needs to take up take off okay so let me show you a couple so give me just long push here so let's say on the spin loop right then you shouldn't try to do this right the elbow is stuck no here elbow follow through follow through make it smooth make it smooth after that after that when you can add body because now you have the swing line. If you just uh, use your body quick at that moment, give me one push. It adds the power, right? Here, oh, sorry. So here, body, elbow, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, follow through, follow through. Uh -huh. Have to do, you, 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 yeah. First thing is this elbow coming, yeah, coming up. Coming up, it has to take off. Okay. Oh. So when you do that, you will feel your leg muscle extending. So basically, it's this muscle extends. You have to feel that. Yeah. Yeah, try to feel that when you okay. do forehand. Right. No, don't do this. Up. Okay, nice loop. It's okay, but this, this shot still need to catch up. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch now. Sooner. I mean, at the top.
Why? Why did this shot fail? Oh, I, my, my leg didn't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right, right. So it need to, it's not about, it's actually when you're making transition from this shot to this shot, this step is actually not where the ball is coming to. Yeah, because I, I think you're trying to do, after this, you're trying to find the ball with this step. No, it's actually one automatic, after that where you jump towards, is the adjustment for the ball. So it's actually a little bit automatic. Huh. So right after I hit it, I should... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But first, make the first shot, and then move. <laughs> Not moving at the same time. Okay, let's let's play match. Let's pick up some balls and then play match. So the concept is same. Uh, we'll play best of three out of five, and in one set, one game, you cannot change your serve. So you can stick to only one kind of serve. Right? Oh, yeah, the whole game. So what that does is, it gives you an idea when you serve that, what are the odds? And help you prepare for these shots. And it will help you to focus more on the next shot than the serve itself. Okay? The same serve, also in the same position. Everything same. Yeah. But next game, you can switch. Every game is same serve, but the next game you can switch, yeah. you can change. Thank you. <laughs> Could I? <laughs> Seems like I have a lot of my, a lot in my pockets to surprise you.
Key one? Key one. Key one? Yeah. Done? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Done? Two one. Two one. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Which arm? Which arm did you get shot? Did you say you got booster shot? Oh, no, no, I got three shots. Oh. Yeah, I was just telling him I got three shots. So, because I wasn't wearing my mask. So. Oh. <laughs> I actually didn't even notice that. Okay. Wait. No, no, I got three. I told him I got three shots. Okay. I got three shots. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. just complaining here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Score? So you should be careful, yeah. Score? 3-1. Three, one. You want to read your, your notes? But actually, in, during the game, you kind of fixed you touched on all the things that I wrote. I was walking, so my handwriting is bad, but let me know if you have questions. What is it? Make steps to go in and out. So there is no change in going uh, back and out, which is actually um, not giving you good time and space. So sometimes you can, you can have perfect ball, but it's actually you want to make perfect ball all the time. To do that, you need to create time and space, like gradually, like depending on what kind of shot you're making. So depending on the quality of the shots that you're making, you will start, you, you do need to start to kind of increase the space so the next shot can be a little bit more powerful, a yeah. little bit more powerful, yeah. Uh, if you stay on the same uh, zone, yeah, then, it's, yeah, uh, and then it's a little bit hard to execute good power. So there is no, um, up and down in power, then the rhythm is same, then they actually start to control your shot. It's actually when you start to give like one soft and then one power, and then soft, soft, control, control, and the power. That kind of really, it's hard to play against. Because they are thinking it's coming out, then it's short, right? Things like that, so to mix up a little bit. The lateral movement is actually not that uh, difficult later on. It's actually how you create space back and forth. Yeah. This is, a, I know about this one. This oh, is okay. a, a big uh, oh. that I want to do. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I can't, yeah, I'm not So when the boy is coming about like here and here, also should be able to play, uh -huh, uh -huh. mix up a lot. A lot of people will fall for that. Uh, when you do, if, uh, um, I don't know if I, I don't know if you're intentionally putting your forehand more to the forehand side, but I think the ratio between your forehand going to the forehand side and backhand side, there were more 
on the forehand side yeah. and the backhand this side. This one's more comfortable. Uh -huh, I try uh -huh. to go for the shot that. I see, I see. Uh -huh. it, which is okay. Yeah, which yeah. is okay. So, yeah. so be able to control and mix it up. Uh -huh. And after the backhand short serve, you can attack the next second shot. What did you notice in the later, like the last game maybe? Or the you you actually try to, you're, you're looping to the backhand too. And you are a little bit, but I didn't see much of a going back in, uh, in and out. But you do start to like control your loop left and right. And then backhand loop, you, I know you like to do the back down the line. Yeah. <laughs> it just looks so open. Right, yeah, yeah, and it's really good shot. And up to like, um, I don't know, but up to like 2000 rating, not many people can kind of attack that easily. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe 1500. Yeah, yeah, maybe close to 2000, they start to counter if it's like a slow and high, high backhand loop. So if you can gain some speed, yeah, you can even uh, get more benefits off of that. Done? <laughs> done? Yeah, done. Three, one. Three, yeah. one. Okay, let's gather here. Mm. Oh, this table. You, over here, I'll explain something. Um, so if you, if you have been practicing half side, half underspin, two bounce, and also no spin, no uh, two bounce, and keeping it low and short. Next homework is, I want you to have a serve under the slip. That will, that's gonna catch, you, catch your opponent off guard. So this serve is something that you can kind of get the point from the serve. Okay, and it's a little bit hard, but if not, if they return, you should be able to kill it. So you need to have this system because when you need one point, you need to use this to get that one point. And it could be at 10-9, you need to finish the game. Do it. But you, you, you don't use this always, then they will know how to return, right? So you want to have something <laughs> under your sleeve to catch your opponent uh, surprise. So uh, let, I can show you what I have, okay? So we, we can line up over here. So first one, who's, who's tr you, uh, should we go from down to up, okay? Yeah, Sanjay first. So I'll try three serve, and then you try to return. Ready? Okay, next. Ah, I need to start testing count. Next. So the later you play, you, you, you've seen all the serve. I'm only mixing two, okay? Next. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 
Hey. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Second one? I mean third one? Nice. Next. Uh Crystal. <laughs> Next. Hey! No, 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 no. Ah! Nice! Nice. Two and two <laughs> with the net. That's very good. So, uh... This is one of the serves that I do. Um, of course, very good return if you can return this because I do use some trick on the serve. Like if you uh, saw what happened when the other people returned, when they missed it, it, it wasn't like coming here. It's like down to the table or outside of the table. So that's something that I use. but. If I uh, use this, of course, I need to prepare the next shot, right? Um, but something that you can also think about, uh, about actually Yuki's return is when you don't know the serve, don't try to attack it early. Okay, any serve, unless they, it's super fast, and of course, at this level, nobody's going to put it a bullet fast serve. It's very hard, I mean, not too hard, but not many people have that. So in general, the serves serve are going to be like here. Okay? So that means if you actually wait for the second bounce, up to the second bounce, the ball will die and you can actually read spin better. Because it's not better for you to attack on the rise after the first bounce and miss the return. But wait and then try to return to the table first and then prepare the next shot. Because we don't know, maybe they missed their shot. Right? Uh, so I want you to little bit think about a serve that can actually kill your opponent. Or if they return, you can kill it. So that's, that's one homework. The other one is, uh, from now, I want everyone to be able to do a higher toss serve. Higher toss higher toss okay so the reason is this if you're doing a um, on the spin serve you don't need to toss the ball too high because it's actually harder to control to give more spin so when the ball when you want to give some under spin you can um, keep the uh, toss a little bit hot, uh, low and then give under spin right you don't need to go like this and then try to do like go serve. And the re so the reason why I want you to be able to, uh, I want you to practice the high touch serve is with the high touch serve, you can increase the amount of side and top spin, which makes the ball curve a lot. Okay, it's the side top spin that curves the ball the most. So here, Toss, right? You, you, you should be able to start to feel this spin. Sanjay, come. Try to return. Hmm. So this is what happens if you have good kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very hard to touch. Very difficult to touch. Yeah. So try to toss and just use the gravity to swing. This one you don't even need to swing hard because the ball has already already has good energy. So it's using the ball's energy to serve. Mm -hmm. If the the uh, toss is low, then you need to give more energy to generate more spin. Ah! 
Mm. Any question on serve? Oh, always very good question. Use knees and body to toss it up. So always like, like a spring. You go down and then go up and then toss. Ah, and obviously, even if you see uh, like a players like Hugo, right? He's really good at the high toss serve and his service is really, really good. But sometimes they will throw like a little bit away or a little bit in, right? Because it's hurt. Not e that easy to control. So it's okay if it's far, then we walk up, make a serve. Uh -huh. Just try to make it straight up. And then in the meantime, we we find the ball and then catch. Don't start too high. Increase gradually. Just here and catch, right? Use the body. Uh. Uh huh. I don't recommend to toss it back on the high toss serve, but I do recommend to not, it's, it's actually not tossing the ball back, but it's moving the body from the left to the right. Because this is illegal. If you do this, that's illegal, right? I mean, it seems like professional players are doing that, but it's more like you're doing this as you toss. And then after that, you use the body weight to serve, right? Here. So it's not actually this, but it's your body that's going back a little bit, and then serve. Uh, so don't make it obvious. The, the umpires are gonna call. Hmm. Any other question? The serve that I was doing is Heavy side top or heavy side under? The serves that I did. Yeah, yeah. It was heavy side top or he heavy side under. So if you touch, then it drops or goes out. So you really need to like absorb the energy and try to return it. Okay. Let's do some physical training and finish. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I can just show you. So catching 7.30 here, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, in between, and give just slight underspin. And you're trying to make the second bounce just to try to touch on the white line. So here. Mm -hmm. So second bounce always at the edge, like that. Uh -huh. That's one serve. The second serve is touching uh, the back of the pedal to give no spin. And when I say no spin, doesn't mean no spin from the beginning. It actually needs to have underspin to become no spin after this bounce, okay? So it looks like underspin, but it has no spin. Therefore, when they come in to push, the ball pops up, and then you can attack. So it looks like this. So you will see under spin up to this point, but right after this bounce, you can see the ball has no spin. So that's how you do the no spin search. There. So you can see the under spin died. So it comes off. If it has under spin, then you catch here instead of here. Then with the same stroke, the ball can have under spin. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's line up. First one is one foot and hop out this way. Two, one, two, two, all the way.
One step each. After that, switch the foot. And same thing. One more time. Mm -hmm. Make it faster. If you can. Yeah, make it faster. Done? Okay, this time is back and forth. Starting from here, one foot, forward and backwards. All the way through. Try to survive. This is harder than it looks. All the way through. Okay, nice. <laughs> Is that your game? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. The second round.
hitting it on this side, hitting here. Do you like? Watch the ball and try to practice. It's, it's, yeah, you have to feel that. Uh -huh. You have to visualize where you're where touching it. If you are, if you don't know where it's touching. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you don't, if you don't feel it, then watch and see. Okay, let's get the cones to each. Two cones each. Yeah, two cones each. And find space. So first, let me show you what we're gonna do. Gonna start about this far. So that's about two feet. Oh, a little bit more. And we're gonna go um, five times. So from here, go here, 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 and back to where you are. That's one. So you go five times. One, two, three. If it's easy, you can go fast. Okay? So five times after that, you start on the other side and do the other way around. After you're done with five, you will increase by one foot. And then do the same thing. And then you will increase another foot. And do the same thing. And one more foot and same thing so there are four stages four stages okay yeah you can start okay sure 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 yeah so zigzag yeah that's it uh-huh so one lateral and back yeah like that uh-huh Make sure the foot stays behind and in front of the cones. Five times each way. So now the other way. So your right foot crossed. Oh. I didn't see the first one. Uh huh. And then the, the, the next time is switch this uh, yeah, side. Yeah. Five times. And then increase one foot. No, 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 no. Just right foot stays on the right, left okay. foot stays on the left. One step each. No, no. One step each. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's 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 the muscle that you use in table tennis. No yeah. Oh, oh, a little bit do it slow. No, like this. So to get most out of this, you can do fast, but not like this, not like this. Uh huh. Not like this. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And then push it out, cause that's the muscle that you are using when you are moving. Yeah. Give one second on each foot, each step. Yeah, like that. Uh huh.
Done? Try to shift the whole weight. <laughs> Try, so shifting the weight here, right? Then push it off. Push it off. Not this. <laughs> Are you okay? How you're done? It's four stages. Did you increase the cone by four times? Uh, no. Oh. Okay, so I need to do more. Uh, you go this way, maybe. So, uh, like here? This so, which stage are you? I'm on, I did three. You did three? Yeah. So, fourth one is from the two, one, two, three, four. Oh, boy. So, it's this far. Like that? Uh-huh. Last one is far. Maybe my foot may be a little bit longer. You can go a little bit shorter than this. Yeah. yeah. But what, like one foot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Very good exercise. Yeah, you, you just just try to do. You don't even need to do like long. Maybe five minutes already enough. Uh -huh. Just after you're done training, you don't even need cones. You can just set points and then just move left. But the, it's really important that you shift the whole way, then move to the other, uh -huh. and mix up with the forward. And if you feel like you want to increase or improve back and forth movement more, and you can switch this more like this much right and then this much uh-huh so you can little bit make a variation but in general we don't move back too far from each step in table tennis we move a lot on the lateral um so sideways so it's the ratio is like one two three or something like that uh -huh. so you don't need to go too far front or too far back. everyone done okay we do some plank if you can bring in the cones. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Keep the cone. Keep the two cones. So we're going to go into plank. Plank. And set the two cones. In front of the hands, touch the other, touch the other, and touch the other, and touch the other. We'll do 23 sets. Yeah. 20 repetition. In front of the hands. So not next to. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh But three sets. Little break and then do two more sets.
Or from Plank? <laughs> you can do that too if you want. If you do this, this is to improve more on the upper body and shoulder part. If you do this, it's to improve more on the core part. And it, both are fine, but I like the core part strong. Mm -hmm. If you're done, you can bring the cones in. Bring the cones back if you're done. Thank you. We have one more exercise to do, which is not hard, not hard. All done? <laughs> okay. Come here. Uh, I mean, line up. Let's line up here. So whoever was done first, you can uh, line up first. So if you pass, you can go home. If you don't pass, you will stay <laughs> here <laughs> until you can do it. So this exercise is uh, very simple. I'm going to hold the ball like this. You're going to place your right hand or the, the hand that you're playing with on top of my hand. And I'm going to drop it, and you need to catch before the ball touches the ground. <laughs> Next. Oh, uh, yeah, you can put the ball uh, in, in here. How? 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 Next. One tip is, if you stand with the full extended legs, you will never be able to catch. Just need to stay very low. Oh! Next. Oh! Wait, 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 I did start. I did start. <laughs> Whoa! He passes. Whoa! <laughs> Next. Oh! Nice. Very good reflex. Oh, okay. Next. <laughs> it's a mind game. Next. No, no, if you pass, you can go home. <laughs> Stay closer. Huh? Huh? Okay, <laughs> little tip. 
So by the gravity, the ball doesn't change the course. Yeah. It's already destined to drop to a certain place. All you need to do is get there before the ball gets there. <laughs> Next. That's another way to play. Don't use two hands, only one hand. Too far, you're sending too far. It's hard to reach. Good night. Oh, almost. Ready? Yep. Oh! Yeah, that was too far. Say lower. Wider. Lower. Ready? Again. 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 Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Let's go home. <laughs>